Hey everyone, this is the Aspen Grove Trail here in San Gorgonio Wilderness, uh, in the mountains outside of Los Angeles, if you're not familiar with the area. It's one of the only Aspen Groves here in Southern California. Now, Aspens are pretty common everywhere else in the country, but here in SoCal, you don't see them as much. So, it's a fun hike in the fall when you want to see the Aspens. You can see up the creek, there's a bunch of different groves as we go up here that I will show you. Um, you might also notice some of this burn damage. A lot of this area was burnt down in the 2015 lake fire. And I was here before then, and it was much different. So obviously, having all these big trees gone makes a difference. But the aspens are back, and they're good, and you can see them change the colors, and it's an easy trail. Now, you can do a short trail. You can just come down to these groves right here, or you can go all the way up this canyon to the Fish Creek Trail and then come back. If you go all the way, it's around four, a little over four miles or so, but you can go up until you're tired. It's a little overgrown at points, um, but you can just go up. It's beautiful the whole way if you'd like. Now, if you want to do the hike, getting to the trailhead's a bit of a challenge, so make sure you check out the article on Hiking Guy where I talk about the hike and I give you maps and talk about permits and fees and all that fun stuff. But otherwise, here are the turn-by-turn -turn directions to get to this beautiful place. So the parking area is pretty small, but the trailhead is well marked here. There's a sand to snow monument. If you go straight up that way, you go to the Fish Creek Trailhead. But we're going to go right behind the sign here for the trail and start heading down towards the uh, Aspen Grove, the first one at Fish Creek. And you can see the devastation here from the lake fire. It's, it's pretty amazing. I, it's hard to explain how different it all looks now than it did before when it was covered in pines, but it is what it is. We're gonna head downhill here, and eventually you're gonna to start to see Fish Creek down in the canyon there, and you're gonna to start to see a bunch of aspens. And if you just wanna do a short hike, you can just come right here, or go down to the creek and then turn around, especially if you didn't drive all the way to the trailhead. Uh, if you only came up on the smoother part and you walked up to the trailhead, this will be probably far enough. But once we go down here, the trail actually twists down and you go over Fish Creek. And on the other side of Fish Creek is the boundary with the San Gorgonio Wilderness. And you can see the sign up there in the distance. But you can see it's beautiful here. There's groves down to the right and to the left. We're going to be going left and upstream on Fish Creek. You can also go to the right and downstream and there's a trail. And there's the San Gorgonio Wilderness sign. Beautiful views up the creek here. Now, if you go to the right, just beware if it's hunting season. A lot of times uh, there's a lot of hunters down to the right for whatever reason, but not so much up to the left. So I'm going to go up to the left. And hunting season is usually in the fall and coincides, obviously, with the changing of the colors of the leaves. So we're going to head up to the left. And I have some tips on how to deal with the hunters uh, in the guide, so make sure you check that out. And you can see once we left the trail, it's a little bit more primitive. It's definitely there on the ground to follow but it's uh, a bit overgrown as we go up and that's kind of how it is the whole way you can see there's some down trees basically when these big pines burn eventually they will fall down um, so you'll have some of the trail blocked it helps to have a electronic navigation device with the gpx file loaded on here in case you lose the trail but in general you shouldn't be going more than five minutes or so without uh, a very well-defined trail. As you go through, you'll pick it up again. But you can see here as we go up, the colors are spectacular, not just from the aspens, but everything. It's a mix of everything that we go together. You can also see the trails a little bit more uh, defined here as we go up and we went through that fallen tree area before. Now, most of the colors in the aspens are down along the creek, which is down to our left down there. Um, and you can see overall the colors are, are spectacular as you go up. The farther you get up the canyon, the, the less uh, aspens there are, but there are aspens pretty much the whole way as we go up here. Now, also, if you're looking at open street maps, you'll notice that uh, this trail is not where the trail on the street maps is, which is on the other side. I don't know if the trail was there at one point on the other side of the creek, but it is not now. This is where the trail is. Lots of growth. Those mushrooms that grow on the dead trees are all over the place here. But it's, uh, you know, it's a, an area coming back from, obviously, this, this pretty major disaster. Here you can see the trail is well-defined. The aspens have thinned out a little bit. Uh, they will come back. 
as we go up here. Now at this point you're going to come down towards the creek, but we're going to instead head up the trail up to the right. There's a few points where you come close to the creek and it looks like you can go over. There's some use trails over the creek, but we're going to stay on the right until one spot later on, which I'll show you. Now after that, the trail sort of heads up to the side of the hill on the right hand side here. Um, and it is overgrown. It does help to have long pants on here and trekking poles. If you want to move the brush away, it is, uh, it's a little bit out of control. And you can see the trail is there. It could be overgrown, but it definitely is there as we work our way up the canyon. At this point, we're going to go through a grassy area still on the side of this hill. Now, one of the things, this is not a long hike, but because the trail is a bit overgrown, you're going to spend some time maybe looking around for it. It does seem a little bit tougher than it is, but you can see the colors are absolutely spectacular here. Um, whether it's an aspen changing leaf, changing colors or something else, it's all a lot of, uh, a lot of beauty for your eye, a lot of eye candy up here. Now, at some point when you come up here after a couple miles, the hill, the trail starts to climb up and there's some actually little basic switchbacks as we go up along the canyon here and up on the side, you're going to kind of gain this ridge. And then after that one little climb, you're going to cross over Fish Creek here. And we're only across the creek for a short while. We're going to go up to the right. The whole hike just goes um, up along the creek. So you're always going to be sort of following it until we get to the Fish Creek Trail. A lot of Fish Creek on this. And you can see we're up on the other side now. We're on the left bank of the creek. And after a short while, you're going to basically cross back down over the creek and then make the left to continue upstream here. Probably in the spring, this is uh, raging. The road up here is closed in the winter when there's snow, so just a heads up. And again, just go to the website and I have all the parking information and permit information. But once we cross over, we're gonna make the left and go up and you can see the trail is kind of hard to find. And then after a minute or two, it'll reappear and you'll know you're in the right place as you head up here. Now another climb, another little set of switchbacks, but we'll see back down the canyon there that you've been going up for a while. I mentioned it's hard as you go up here. It's only, I think, about seven or 800 feet of climbing, so it's not a big mountain climb or anything, but it just seems kind of hard because the trail is a little bit tough as you go. You can see it's a little bit rocky, but once we come out here, you just go straight and continue heading uphill here, and eventually you'll be towards the end. That's it. That's the hike, at least half of the hike. Once you get here, this is Fish Creek Trail. If you went that way, you could go to San Gorgonio, which is a long, long way to get there. Um, you could also go this way to Dry Lake, which is another cool place. But otherwise, you just turn around and go back the way you came. Now, you don't have to come all the way up here. You can go probably about a half a mile and see the first aspen. So if you don't want to do a longer hike, you just want to do something short to see the aspen trees, just do a shorter hike, soak it in when you feel like turning around, turn around. And uh, yeah, it's, it's fun and it's beautiful. And make sure you go to the website where I have information on permits and getting to the trailhead and all that stuff. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link to that article right underneath the video. If you are watching on YouTube, if you could do me a big favor and just click that little thumbs up button, that's an easy way to say thank you for the video. And uh, yeah, give it a try. It's best obviously done in fall when the colors are out, but uh, it's a beautiful area no matter what. So put it on your list and I'll uh, see you guys out there.